and it's complete disaster. It's a complete disaster. It's smoke and mirrors, guys. Smoke and mirrors. And I'm hot about it. Because this mayor does not care about Chicago police officers, period. She doesn't care about any first responders. She doesn't care about the damn city. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, other, straight, gay, Democrat or Republican. She don't even care about her city workers. All that lady cares about is her self. And I pray you're watching this because you're a disgrace. And I'm tired of it. And your city is tired of it. Matter of fact, it's not your city. The city of Chicago is tired of it. All right, guys. So Chicago is having a mass exodus, right? Literally, everybody is trying to get out of that city while they still can alive, okay? That's not even an exaggeration, okay? As I've done stories about this, right? You have civilians that are leaving. You have businesses like the Chicago Bears, right? They're leaving. They're like, we're getting up out of here, okay? Despite the fact that Lori Lightfoot is trying to bribe them to stay, okay? Uh, they're like, you can't even pay us to stay in Chicago, okay? You have police that are resigning, okay? Uh, 300 sworn officers in 2022 have resigned. There is a mass exodus going on in Chicago because of the violent crime, because that city is out of control. However, despite the facts about what's going on in her city and how poorly run it is under her administration and soft on crime progressive prosecutor Kim Fox, uh, she continues to gaslight her citizens on how the city is actually doing. Take a look. Mayor Lori Lightfoot saying the focus on guns, gangs, and investment in some of the city's most violent neighborhoods has been life-saving. Our data-driven strategy recognizes that that's where we need to put the lion's share of our investments, our time, our education, our outreach. Although homicides and shootings are down from historic highs last year, overall crime is still up. The biggest challenge I think that we face is we've got to make sure that these young people put down the guns and we've got to make more progress on carjackings. I asked the mayor how she is battling the perception that many parts of Chicago are unsafe and that includes downtown, the economic hub of the city where crime has scared off some residents, tourists and even companies. We've got to focus on those numbers that we've seen tip, tip up that I'm not happy with and aren't acceptable. Outside of City Hall, Many residents cite crime as a major concern, but reactions are mixed about how the mayor is addressing the issue. Some say crime has been a problem in the city for decades and it won't be fixed overnight. Yeah, guys, just trust Lori Lightfoot that they're doing everything they can to lower crime, especially in areas like downtown Chicago where you have a lot of businesses, okay, and employment and very important people that come into the city, right? You, you might wanna do everything you can to protect them using data-driven decisions like, you know, uh, banning police from chasing certain suspects on foot and creating a whole lot of bureaucratic paperwork for police that do chase suspects, criminals on foot, uh, essentially disincentivizing police from actually <laughs> trying to chase down criminals after they commit crimes. Yeah, that is a data-driven decision. They're not trying to be woke, okay? They're, they're trying to fight crime with data. So that being said, guys, um, there are a lot of people that are seeing through the buffoonery here, right? From Lori Lightfoot. And the people that are seeing through it are people that are actually on the inside, that are actually working for her and know exactly how much she is full of it. Like now, former police dispatcher Keith Thornton, who has quit his job after saving the life of a police officer. And about seven to eight months ago, going on Facebook Live and making national news, for exposing Lori Lightfoot and her failing policies. Again, he has now resigned and has come out here to expose Lori Lightfoot and call her out even more. Take a look. It's a bitter, very bittersweet week for me, um, but with no, no uh, leadership, I've said this over and over, no transparency from the city hall here in Chicago, and just a very negligent administration, it was just time, you know, I'm tired of it. And I can talk to talk like many people do, or I can walk to walk, and I've decided to do that um, so I can be more of an advocate and, and get my voice out there more to make Chicago what it needs to be. This is not, not helping by being where I'm at now within that, that position. Why is nothing changing? Why why does Lori Lightfoot not implement the necessary changes to improve that once great city? 
her, her, her ego is bigger than the crime level here in Chicago. Uh, and she gets on the TV with uh, her media availability uh, meetings with the superintendent of the police here. And they constantly, every week, every other day, they're saying that the stats are down with violent crime and people shot and homicides. Listen, being on the other side of the radio as a dispatcher in Chicago, I'm like, this is nonsense. And, and we're telling, well, you guys are telling people lies, but being a part of this entity and working in that position and knowing that these are lies that are literally going out to citizens of Chicago that don't deserve to be hearing the nonsense, you know, I, I can't answer why she's doing it, but I can answer why I'm stepping aside because I don't stand for that. And no, it's wrong. He, yeah. The crime has always been rampant in Chicago, but it's never been to the point under the direct leadership of Mayor Lightfoot. You know, they let these people in and out of jail. You got Kim Fox's, you know, uh, doing her thing with just a revolving door. I don't know what to say about the mayor and, and her administration because what they're saying is just a bunch of lies and it's just so sad. And I really hope that we can kind of change this, uh, this corruption going on right here within Chicago. It's absolutely nonstop. And all she's doing is she's bringing these different things. NASCAR's coming to Chicago, a lot of Palooza Fest. She's out there celebrating. You know, she's, she's out of control and she's not focusing on the safety and the public well-being of her citizens. And it's trash. It's absolute trash. Yeah, out of control is the perfect way to describe Lori Lightfoot, who herself, in my opinion, is a criminal as um, she <laughs> routinely breaks the law and refuses to pay speeding tickets slash red light tickets despite being a vocal proponent of stricter speed cameras. So I want you guys to take a look at this embarrassing footage of Lori Lightfoot and her security detail just flat out breaking the law and allegedly speeding, speeding past red lights, okay? Speeding past red, running red lights, right? And speeding in school zones where children are in the area, allegedly, allegedly. Take, take a look at this footage. Yeah, so when you ask yourself why is crime out of control in Chicago, right? Just look no further than the person with the biggest penis in Chicago, right? Lori Lightfoot's words, not mine, uh, as she herself is a lawbreaker, okay? She breaks the laws, okay? She feels like it's okay for her to run around and speed through school zones, right? Straight up running red lights, putting people in danger. In some of those videos, guys, um, she almost caused an accident, there was one uh, video where uh, a car was turning, right, uh, to go left, and Lori Lightfoot just ran the light. Ran the light, okay? Again, could have caused an accident. Could have hit some children in the school zones. But yet, she's a proponent for more stricter speed cameras because it, quote, makes people more safe. But she has no regard for people or children's safety when she's riding around in her vehicle with her security detail. And then not only on top of that, she's not paying the ticket. So she's just like, I'm not going to pay the fines. I'm going to break the law and not pay the fines. <laughs> right? I'm going to break the law and not pay the fines. And when asked about it, she's like, well, it's not on me. It's on the security people that are driving the vehicle to actually pay it. Not me. <laughs> Again, no responsibility whatsoever. Take no responsibility for her actions. Okay? Like, she can't tell the security people, hey, don't speed. Hey, don't run the red light. But, again, the problem is, like... This uh, guy said, this police dispatcher, the former police dispatcher, is that Lori Lightfoot's ego is bigger than the crime level in Chicago. She thinks that she is above the law. Again, evidence by the whole speeding thing and not paying the tickets for it. Again, she thinks she's above the law. And this is why she's running a lawless city, right? But again, th this is the consequences of elections, right? You, you got these people that are suffering 
But they're probably still going to come out here and vote blue because, I don't know, Republicans are racist or something like that. Right? Notice how this is happening. This stuff is happening in all big liberal cities. New York, Los Angeles, Portland, Oregon, San Francisco. You know, that, that's what's happening. You don't hear about stories like this in Florida where cities are out of control, right, with crime. Or in Texas or any of these red states that have big cities as well, too. You don't hear about this stuff happening. Now, if, if you do hear about it, then these cities are most likely ran by liberals. But, again, <laughs> this is what happens, and, and it's such a pattern, and I don't understand why the world do people keep voting for this. What do you have to lose by voting for something else? What do you have to lose? You ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> As of right now, Chicago's lost everything. They're losing everything. Lives and businesses and money, right? That's what they're losing. But, hey... You know, you got yourself a black woman LGBTQ mayor. I, I guess that must be worth something, right? I guess it's worth all those lives that are being lost, the money being lost, the business being lost. I guess that's worth it, right? I guess being woke is worth it. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.